In today's video, I'll be going over the best locations and methods to shiny hunt all 24 starter Pokemon available in the Indigo Disc. So when you first come into the terrarium in the Indigo Disc, the starter Pokemon will not be available. To unlock them in your game, you will need to firstly come to the club room in the Blueberry Academy and use the computer to contribute Blueberry points to the Terrarium Club to boost the biodiversity in each of the biomes on your map. Every time you pay 3,000 Blueberry points to boost the biodiversity in a specific biome, the starters related to that area will now be available to obtain in your game. Unlocking all 24 starters across the four biomes will cost a total of 12,000 Blueberry points. If that sounds a lot, yes it is, and if you want some ways to best farm Blueberry points, we already have a video going over everything you need to know here on the channel, so I'll link it down in the description so you can check it out after this video. So once you have unlocked all of the starter Pokemon through the club room, congratulations! You now have access to all 24 starter Pokemon across all four biomes in the terrarium. Now all the shiny hunts in this video will be split in one of two ways, either as an isolated or mass outbreak shiny hunt, showing the best location, method, sandwich powers and everything else that will make shiny hunting all 24 starter Pokemon as easy as possible. Nine of these 24 starter Pokemon I would recommend to shiny hunt using using the mass outbreak method as they appear in locations where a lot of similar type Pokemon also spawn in. The remaining 15 starter Pokemon can all have shiny hunts done in their specific biome using the isolated encounter method. Isolated encounters are where only the target Pokemon appears or at least is the dominant spawn in a specific location which allows you to use the reset or respawn method plus encounter and sparkling power level 3 to shiny hunt more easily. But it is worth noting how to respawn outbreaks. I don't want to go through this every time we mention an outbreak so I'm covering it now as well as the sandwich recipes that we'll be using throughout so to save you time this information is at the start of the video. If you are going for the outbreak method to respawn outbreaks on your map hit your home menu come into your system settings then into system, come down to the date and time, make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is turned off, then come into date and time, don't change anything, just toggle through the options using your A button and hit OK. Press your home menu, come back into the game, and this will respawn all of the outbreaks on the map. It's as simple as that. You just repeat this process until you get the specific Pokemon in an outbreak that you're hunting for. And also make sure after about two to three resets, you close your map and reopen it. For some reason, after a couple of resets, the outbreaks sometimes stop appearing as they should. So to resolve this, opening and closing the map will resolve this problem so you don't miss a newly spawned outbreak after doing this method. These are the seven sandwich recipes we will be using and I'll reference the specific one as we cover each starter Pokemon throughout this video. If you don't want to use these recipes there will be other examples linked in the description for similar powers. Remember to always drop a save before setting up any sandwich power. In case you don't get the shiny in the allocated 30 minutes you can restart your game and use the same recipe again without wasting resources. Also a big shout out to Hylian Instagram who put together a great video on the zero ingredient sandwich recipes we will be using in today's video. Now starting in generation order, we'll kick off with Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is located in the coastal biome in the highlands towards the central area. This is an isolated encounter, set up a sandwich for grass types with encounter and sparkling power level three, and in this spot, we will be using the picnic reset method. As this upper area of the coastal biome is a giant ring, you can also lap around this area to encounter Bulbasaur once you set up your sandwich. But as it's the only Pokemon that will appear in this area, it's a nice and easy isolated encounter method to get shiny Bulbasaur for your collection. Charmander is located in the Savannah biome around the area where you first enter the terrarium from the Blueberry Academy. This will be an isolated hunt, so set up an encounter and sparkling level 3 sandwich for fire type Pokemon. And in and around this area, you can encounter large numbers of Orni Charmander. For this shiny hunt, I found it easier to roam around the area of the Savannah biome to check the spawned in Charmander. Then once checked and no shinies were on the field, I used the picnic to despawn everything and start the process again until the shiny did appear. 
Squirtle appears in these locations in the Canyon Bind, but every location it spawns, it also has a lot of other water types appearing alongside with it. So for that reason, it's the first shiny hunt in this video I would recommend hunting as a mass outbreak. It's not a difficult outbreak to reset for on your map and will only appear in the Canyon Biome. Once you have the outbreak, head over to it and drop a save before you start. Knock out or catch 60 of the Squirtle to maximize your shiny odds. And after this, drop another save and then set up a sparkling level 3 power sandwich for water type Pokemon and use the reset method like the picnic reset to hunt for this one. Once you check all of the spawns in the outbreak, find a close location to set up a picnic to despawn everything and then take it down for more Squirtle from the outbreak to spawn in. Check them again for the shiny and if it's not there, just repeat this process until you do find yourself a shiny Squirtle. Chikorita appears in the coastal biome in these locations but suffers a similar fate to Squirtle where it appears alongside a lot of other common grass type Pokemon so for that reason it's another mass break shiny hunt. Again not a difficult mass outbreak to spawn on your map but once you have it do the same principles of knocking out 60 Pokemon from the outbreak, dropping a save, setting up a sparkling power level 3 sandwich for grass types and spawn and despawn the outbreak until you find shiny Trickorita, which is a very nice shiny to spot in the wild. Next up, we got Cyndaquil. Appears only in one location in the polar biome, located in this particular cave. It also has very small spawn numbers due to other Pokemon outside the cave affecting its spawn rates. Now, you might think a mass outbreak would be the solution to these extremely low spawns, but let me save you the time. For one, the mass outbreak is extremely rare, really hard to get, only appearing in this one location. So comparable with the Feebas outbreaks from Kitakami. And also once you have it, the outbreak doesn't increase the spawn rates at all. So it is a complete waste of your time. Like I say, let me waste my time so you don't have to waste yours. I found this out the hard way, but at least we all know the situation with this specific outbreak now. But with that out of the way, there is a simple method we can use to effectively shiny hunt this fire type starter, and it is the isolated encounter hunt. Once you enter the cave, get on your ride Pokemon and jump up onto this ledge towards the back of the cave area. In this spot, you can in fact set a picnic up. So drop a save before you do this. Set your picnic up right where we are and make yourself a sparkling and encounter power level 3 sandwich for fire type Pokemon. Then take down your picnic and move to this side of the ledge right as far as you can go before you drop off and position yourself so your camera is looking out towards the entrance of the cave. You can also use the switch zoom function as well. This is by double tapping your home button twice which can be set up in your switch settings screen. To see the syndical spawn in a bit easier. Once a good number have spawned into the cave, jump off the ledge and check if any of these syndicals are shiny. If none are, come back to the ridge and repeat this process until you get the shiny Cyndaquil. This method will get you a good amount of spawns on the field at once, which is probably the best method for hunting this fire starter Pokemon. Totodile is up next and appears in the savannah biome in these locations but again because it spawns alongside other common water Pokemon I would recommend a mass outbreak hunt to effectively shiny hunt this starter Pokemon. Like the Cyndaquil because the Totodile outbreak will only appear in one location on your map it is an extremely difficult one to get to appear. It's worth setting up an encounter power level 2 sandwich for water type Pokemon and being in the biome next to where the Tortodile spawns when you're doing your date resets to help increase the chances of you getting the mass outbreak for Tortodile. Again, it's very comparable in rarity to the Feebas and White Stripe Basculin outbreaks that we saw in Kitakami. So this one might take you a while. Just be prepared, have a bit of patience, but you will eventually get it if you persisted it. Once you do get the outbreak, do the usual method of knocking 60 of the outbreak out. Drop a save, set up a sparkling power level 3 for water type Pokemon. And then on the banks of this muddy pool, you can set up your picnic to despawn all of the Totodile. Or you can just go from one end of the pool to the other, which will despawn everything on the other end of the pool as you move into the other one. 
and you can just go backwards and forwards spawning in more as you move up and down the pond until the shiny does spawn in. Trico appears in this location in the canyon biome. You can do an easy isolated hunt for Trico in this location on your map. The best method I have found is coming to this exact spot on this highland area and having a sparkling and encounter power level 3 sandwich set up for grass type Pokemon. Also have a Pokemon in your party that can fly or float using the synchro function. When here you will see a good number of Trico spawning in to both sides of this position. Once they stop spawning in, simply send your Pokemon out, the floating or flying Pokemon, and use the Synchro function. Then, with your synchronized Pokemon, fly away from this area until a point where you move into either another biome or as far as you can go, and then cancel out of the Synchro function, come back to your character, and once you do this, by going as far away as you have with your synchronized Pokemon, it will despawn everything in front of you, but it means you don't need to move and you're in a really good position on the edge of this cliff face where the spawns are coming in and you've got a good view of everything where you're not having to move, set up a picnic which can slow you down, utilizing the synchronized function to despawn everything in this area and make the shiny hunt very easy. So you just repeat this method until the shiny does pop up in this area and then you'll be able to go over, save in front of it, make sure you catch it and whatever special Pokeball you want and you've got yourself a shiny Trico. Torchic appears in these areas in the polar biome, but is one of the easiest isolated encounter shiny hunts there is for all of the starter Pokemon. First fly to the polar plaza, then head to this cave marked here on the map. Once you get to the cave, there will be a wild Terra Matang in here. Knock this out before you do anything, and after that, drop a save. Then in the center of the cave area, set up a picnic, and then make a sandwich that gives you the sparkling and encounter power level 3, or fire type Pokemon. Once you've done this, take down your picnic and head to the opposite direction of the cave. Look back on yourself and you will see a huge number of Torchic spawning in from the opposite side of the cave. And once the Torchic stops spawning in, simply move towards the middle of the cave, set your picnic back up to despawn everything on the field and take it down to then repeat this process until the shiny Torchic appears. A very easy hunt, very easy to spot Torchic as well when it comes in because of its shiny. So a really nice, easy chill hunt for you to do for this starter Pokemon. Mudkip appears in these locations in the coastal biome and can be shiny hunt using the isolated method. From the coastal plaza, head to this spot, which will take you into the torch lit labyrinth. Once you come inside this cave system, come to the right and look in onto the opposite tunnel area. If positioned correctly like we are, you will start to see a number of mudkips start to spawn in onto the field. Just drop a save, set up your picnic and sandwich, which is giving you the sparkling and encounter power level 3 for water type Pokemon, and then move back into place to allow all of the mudkip to spawn in onto the field. Once no more are in the area, move into the central area of this cave system between the two tunnels, and then just use your ride Pokemon to jump up to check that any stray spawns on the level above where you are aren't shiny. And then if they're not, set your picnic up, despawn everything that's out and repeat this process until you get yourself a shiny Mudkip. Turtuig appears all over the canyon biome, but head to this specific location from the canyon rest area. Once here, position yourself on top of this slope and drop a save. Then set up a picnic, make a sandwich for encounter and sparkling power level 3 for grass type Pokemon. And then use the picnic reset method to spawn and despawn the Turtwig onto the field until the shiny appears. Nothing else but the Turtwig will appear in this location. It's a really good viewpoint as well. You've got a good view of all of the Pokemon that will be spawning in onto the field. And it's an easy place for you to do this hunt. Very, very straightforward and a nice shiny for you to add to your collection. Chimchar appears in the polar biome, but does not spawn as an isolated encounter, unfortunately. For these reasons, I would again recommend shiny hunting Chimchar as a mass outbreak. The outbreaks will only appear on your map in the polar biome, and it's a pretty easy one to get on your map using the date reset method. And as always with the other mass outbreak methods, knock 60 out after you come to the outbreak, drop a save, set your specific sparkling power up for fire type Pokemon, 
and then use the respawn method to despawn everything on the field once all of the outbreak Pokemon have spawned in and then just repeat that until you do see the shiny. Piplup appears in the polar biome and like its fire type counterpart unfortunately appears alongside a flurry of other water type Pokemon and for these reasons again it's best to shiny hunt this Pokemon using the mass outbreak method. Again, as it appears in multiple outbreak locations in the polar biome, it won't be a difficult Pokemon to appear as a mass outbreak or to shiny hunt. Once it does, go over to it, do the usual steps for a mass outbreak, knock out 60 to maximize your shiny odds, set up a sparkling power level 3 sandwich for water type Pokemon, and repeat the despawn respawn methods of the outbreak until you get the shiny. Snivy appears in these locations of the Savannah Biome and again is another Pokemon that spawns in similar places to other grass types making it extremely difficult to shiny hunt as an isolated encounter. Fortunately in the areas where it does appear you're going to get a lot of Executor, you're going to get a lot of Execute which makes it extremely difficult to pin this one down. So again, I would recommend doing the Snivy Shiny Hunt as an outbreak method. It's not a difficult one again to spawn on your map in the Terrarium and will only appear in the Savannah Biome. Once you have it, again, all the same methods as before. Knock 60 out, drop a save, set your Sparkling Power Level 3 up for Grass type Pokemon. And I found the best way for Snivy was just to roam around the area of the outbreak despawn everything from the outbreak if no shiny was there and then take down my picnic for new ones to spawn in. Tepig appears in these locations of the canyon biome and has one of the best isolated shiny hunts for all of the starter Pokemon. From the canyon rest area come to this location on your map which is one of the entrances to the charged stone cave. When here drop a save and set up a picnic making an encounter and sparkling power level 3 sandwich for fire type Pokemon. And once set up take your picnic down and you'll see a large number of Tepigs spawning in on the field in front of you. Once no more are spawning in, simply run down into Charge Stone Cave behind you. This will despawn all of the Tepig on the field and then return to your starting position at the entrance of the cave and another batch of Tepig will spawn in. It's as simple as that. All you need to do is repeat this method until you find the Shiny Tepig, which is one of my favorite starter Shiny Pokemon in this video. Chihuahua is another water type that appears in the polar biome and another Pokemon I am recommending to shiny hunt as a mass outbreak. Again because it spawns in next to so many other water type Pokemon to effectively shiny hunt it, a mass outbreak is really the only option. A really nice shiny to get in the game and an easy one to spot as well once you do have the outbreak using all of the standard outbreak methods. Chespin appears in this location in the canyon biome and this isolated shiny hunt is another very easy one to do in your game. Come to this rest fly point in charge zone cave, drop a save, set up a sandwich with encounter and sparkling power level 3 for grass type pokemon, then come to this spot next to the rest stop and use the picnic method to spawn in and despawn chespins onto the field. You're going to get nothing but Chespin spawns when you've got your sandwich power set up. It's a really easy one to hunt. And like I say, you can use the picnic method to despawn everything on the field if no shinies there. And then take it down to get new spawns in. Or you can just wander through Charge Stone Cave if you prefer to do it that way and find the shiny. And it's something that you will be able to do very easily and effectively to get this very nice shiny in your game. Fennekin appears in these areas of the Savannah Biome. This is another mass outbreak shiny hunt I would recommend for this fire starter Pokemon. All of the areas where Fennekin seems to spawn in are also ones where you're going to get a lot of magma and Magby, which make an isolated hunt extremely difficult. It is an extremely nice shiny though, but and definitely one I would recommend you to go after. But I would say go for the mass outbreak method with Fennekin. It's going to make it so much easier for getting this starter Pokemon in its shiny form. Rocky is next and appears in these areas of the coastal biome. It is one of the few water types we can actually isolate hunt. Now you want to fly to the coastal plaza and then head around to this raised area towards the left and back of this area. 
As always, drop a save, set up a sparkling encounter power level 3 sandwich for water type Pokemon, and then take down your picnic from here. Get on your ride Pokemon and move around this raised area to check all of the froggy that are spawning in. Once you've checked them all, simply fly out towards the coastal plaza, which in turn will despawn everything on the field, and then quickly turn back around, fly back into this area, and you'll have a whole new batch of froggy spawning in. So all you really want to be doing at this stage is repeating this method. You don't need to set your picnic up. You're just despawning everything on this little landmass by flying into the coastal plaza. Straight away, turn back around, come back to this little island, and then you'll be able to encounter more froggies and do this until the shiny froggy does appear. Rowlet appears in these areas of the savannah biome and again a very easy isolated shiny hunt. Come to this platform in the savannah biome which is located here on your map. Once you are here, drop a save, then all the usual for an isolated hunt. Set up a picnic, get your sparkling encounter level 3 sandwich for flying type Pokemon this time. Then take down your picnic and use your camera function to look around the entire area because the Rowlets are going to be appearing all around this platform. They'll appear in clusters as well as individual ones, but it's such an obvious shiny. You might not even need to use your camera function to identify it. It will be that minty green color when it does pop up. So it will be very obvious when it comes onto the field. All you'll need to do in this situation is repeat this method. If no shinies are on the field when you take your picnic down, Set your picnic back up, despawn everything, and then repeat this process until you do get that shiny Rowlet in your game. Litten appears in the canyon biome, and for this shiny hunt, we'll be using the same method and location that we used for the Turtwig shiny hunt. This will be an isolated shiny hunt, and we'll be coming to this exact area like we did for the Turtwig on your map. Once you're at the top of this slope, you'll be doing all of the same things. Dropping a save, then setting up a sparkling and kind of power level 3 sandwich. This time for fire type Pokemon. And then use the picnic reset method to spawn and despawn these little black cats until the white one pops up on the field. Poplio is located in these areas of the coastal biome and is another isolated shiny hunt we can do in the terrarium. Fly to the central area and then head to this small enclosed lake area here on your map. Before getting into the water, drop a save and do the usual set up a picnic and get the sparkling and encounter power level 3 for water type Pokemon. Then mount your ride Pokemon and move into the water, positioning yourself just behind this small island like we are here. And when you're in the right position, you'll start to see Poplio spawning in big numbers on the opposite shore to where we are. Use your zoom function to keep a lookout for the shiny. It's a tricky one to spot being just a bit of a darker blue color, but the color of the Poplio is the biggest giveaway for when the shiny does appear as the collar will be pink on the shiny rather than the blue, which it is on its regular form. Very nice, easy, isolated hunt though for you to do in this location. Grookey is located in this area of the coastal biomes and can be an isolated shiny hunt on this beach area as shown here on the map. You'll need to set up a sparkling and encounter power level 3 sandwich for grass types, but once you've done, the best method I found was just roaming around the beach area. Just checking all the Grookey that spawned in and also the upper dune areas where we are now. You will see the odd Blossom spawning in on the beach in the upper areas of the beach, but the majority of spawns are going to be the Grookey, so it's a really good one to do as an isolated encounter and an easy shiny to spot when it does appear as it's a lot lighter of a green color uh, or yellowy color than the regular sprite so very vivid one to spot when it does come onto the field you can utilize a picnic reset for this as well but if you want to just go from one end of the beach to the other just checking all of the spawns up and down the beach that's just as good a method and saves you having to set the picnic up and then take it down every so often Skull Bunny is located in the polar biome but does not have unfortunately an isolated encounter method as Chimchar is another Pokemon that appears in most places alongside it. You can isolate and hunt for both the Chimchar and the Skull Bunny together but this is one I would definitely recommend a mass outbreak to shiny hunt this Pokemon by itself and most effectively. 
Again, like the Chimchar outbreak, it's not a difficult outbreak to spawn in on your map and will only appear in the polar biome. But again, once you have it on your map, follow the normal steps to effectively shiny hunt a mass outbreak. Sparkling power level three for fire type Pokemon and knock 60 out and kind of go from there. And the final Pokemon of the 24 starters is the water type Sobble. It appears in these locations of the Savannah biome and is an easy isolated shiny hunt. If you come to this muddy pond area of the Savannah biome, you can locate yourself on this small island next to this specific tree. Drop a save, set up a picnic and sandwich with encounter and sparkling power level three for water type Pokemon. Once done, use the picnic reset method for spawning in and despawning the Sobbles in and around the field area where you are. It's a very easy shiny to spot. It will be a much darker blue or a kind of purpley blue with a pink head fin. So you'll be able to spot it very easily. And it's a very nice, easy shiny hunt using the picnic to just remove everything from the field when they're not shiny and then take it down to spawn new ones in. And there isn't too much else that's going to spawn in when you're doing this method to interrupt this isolated shiny hunt. Do this until you get that shiny Sobble. And with that, we've been through all 24 starter Pokemon available in the Indigo disc. And these are what I think that are the best ways to shiny hunt them in and around the terrarium. I hope you found today's video useful, friends. If you have, please do consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Like I say, I hope you found this one useful. It took a long time to do this one. Uh, 24 starter shinies was a bit of a task and some of them were very difficult to get, but I'm so pleased I've done it and I hope this has been very, very helpful and will be helpful to a lot of you making getting the shinies for these sought after Pokemon a lot easier in your games. So that is it. Thank you for tuning in, taking the time to come by the video. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in another one very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.